Hello everybody. Today I want to show you something pretty amazing. This tree here is a Julie mango tree. And as you can see here, there's some mangoes on the tree. But this is pretty cool because uh, somebody I know planted this as a seed and it grew in. So it's a seedling. It's been a good amount of years, but finally there's mangoes on here. We're going to see how they are. But today is not about that topic of seedlings and so on. Today is about the size of the tree. Julie mango in general is a tree that's a dwarf tree. And a dwarf tree doesn't mean it's not going to grow big. A dwarf tree basically means that it's just going to take slower to grow. So it's a good candidate for having as what they call a condo mango or a small mango because it, it's a lot easier to maintain. Other than some uh, mango trees that just grow really big way too fast. Well, this, I believe it's been like maybe five or six years. And you can see here, it's not that big. It's a, it's a small tree after five or six years from seed. Uh, but I always are interested in, in, in growing smaller trees because I'm uh, trying to experiment with ultra high density planting of trees. And this is a great example today on today's show. I was recently at my friend's condominium and I found a, a, a bush and literally it was a mango bush. It was basically a, a, a mango tree, but the shape of a bush and it had mangoes all over it. And I later found out after I made the video or towards the end of the video, it was a Julie mango. I thought it was a, a Pickering mango, but it was a Julie mango. And the lady said it's been in the ground about a year. Uh, from the size of the trunk on that, it looked like it was definitely older than a year as a tree. So I don't know how old the tree was when she got it, regardless. Check this video out today and let this be an encouragement to all of those of you that think you don't have enough room to grow a mango tree. You just got to pick the right selection and give it a little TLC and you can grow mangoes on even a small mango bush. So check this out. Hello everybody. I got an exciting video for you today. High intensity gardening. You don't want mango trees. You want mango bushes, right? Well, you hear about it, but check this out. I'm in my friend's uh, community here where they're just condos and houses, these townhouses, and we were driving and I saw this tree and I had to back up. This is the coolest thing. This is a mango tree. Whoops. This is a mango tree and it's, it's the size of a bush right outside this little house. Whoever done this kept it as the size of a bush. I have no idea how old this is. I'm gonna end up speaking to the lady, but uh, this is a perfect example of what you could do. This tree's loaded with mangoes and it's a small tree. Now, if you get something that's called a condo mango, like a dwarf mango tree, like a pickering mango tree or a dwarf Hawaiian or something, they don't grow that big and they grow very slow and you can continue to top them off. And this is a great example. So let me show you around this and show you this. All right, so we were just driving and check it out. So that's, look, that's the house right there. It's a small house. And she got this bush right here. It's, it's, it's truly a mango bush, not a tree. This is a great example of how small trees can be thriving. So look how big the trunk is on that tree. And, and she's got mangoes here in front of this little condo. I mean, look, look, there's mangoes all over this place. And this is a great example. Now, I don't know how long she'll be able to keep it like that, but you can tell it's, it's, it's a good old tree because the, the trunk's pretty long. But look at that, it's a bush, a mango bush. That's what we're talking about. You don't need a lot of space to have mango trees. If you get the right variety under the right situation, you can do it. And uh, it's almost ma it's mango season now. Again, this tree's loaded with mangoes. I don't know anything about how long it's been here or anything. I am going to find out, but very cool. Very cool. All right, everybody. So there it is. I'm going to try to talk to the person who owns this to find out a little bit more history about it. But again, this is a great example of a, a condo mango, truly, because here we are in a condo and it's a mango tree, but it's a mango bush. So whatever hopes or aspirations you have to have mango trees, you don't need a lot of land. This lady or this person that lives here has this little bit of land and she got this tree. Absolutely a great surprise and a great video. I hope this is encourages you. Now, technically, if she wanted, with the way she's keeping this, she can go around this whole path here and have five or six mango trees. That's amazing. And uh, there's a great example. Okay, here's a longer shot of it. That's the tree right there. 
That's how small the house is. Just amazing. All right, everybody. That was an amazing video about the mango bush. Now, I've heard you can do it, but that was the first time I really seen it in action. A, a, a tree loaded with mangoes in a small condo, condominium area, but the lady still did it. It was just amazing. Uh, and of course, it's going to get a little bit bigger during the time, but that's the way it was now. And, you know, people like the mangoes they like, but Julie mangoes are a, it's a nice mango tree because it doesn't get uh, too big and it tastes wonderful. So if you have any experience with doing something like that, or if you want to experiment with it, hopefully this video helped you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Put your comments below the video. Until then, everybody, have a great day and keep growing.